Matt Trucks introduces Intel Arc based Luma GPU series. This is the first fanless A310 launched. AMD has boasted Radeon 16 gig graphics card are now available for less than $500. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti has been pictured. Asus ROG Ally Ryzen Z1 is expected to launch at the retail at $599. And lastly, AOK Zo A1 Pro console with Ryzen 7 7840U Phoenix APU will be coming soon also with the price of $999. This is Tech Track. So first up, we have Matrox video announces the Luma graphics, basically an Arc GPU, their lineup. And if you look into it, this is the Luma A310 with the fan. But they also have another variant, which is basically passive cooling. No fan at all, only fins. And kind of makes sense because A310 is not really a high performance GPU anyway. So passive cooling, is it going to be helpful? Who knows? But I guess it will because, I mean, it has been tested, I believe, and that's why they're launching it. So we've seen this before with Asus doing that with, uh, with basically the GT710 right very old car right there but yeah now we're seeing the same trend here for the luma series of a310 fanless gpus here and well you know what this is a really low tier gpu so it doesn't really need that much cooling anyway so i guess passive cooling saves a lot of money next up we have shasha mankovic from amd here just tweeted this and basically he's sharing this information basically that their 16 gigs gaming experience will be starting at 499 basically if you look into the well the pricing here well rx 6800 non xt is coming at 499 according to the present pricing if you look into some you know uh retailers you could find the similar pricing 499 is the minimum if you want to go with the 16 gigs well they're also comparing with nvidia here basically the 3070 that is 549 but only comes with 8 gigs so not only it's expensive but also gives you less well vram well, though we, we can argue that RX 6800 or any other AMD GPUs you can consider don't really go well in, in terms of ray tracing, but in terms of VRAM, they do offer a lot. Only the RTX 4080 is offering the 16 gigs. Rest are not even close. Maybe 12 gigs, but again, we've seen enough that 16 gigs is more of a safe way to go. So yeah, not a bad deal. 6800 coming at 499, even 6800 XT coming at 579, and 1650 XT coming at 649, they're a pretty good deal if you don't consider ray tracing, of course. Next up, we have Zadwang, the Twitter user, basically leaked this information the 4060 Ti, and that's the die. Let's zoom into it, shall we? And well, nothing surprising, it's just an NVIDIA 8106 350A1, that's the 4060 Ti die. And well, if it's leaked already, that we can already guess that the launch for the 4060 Ti around early june or at the end of may kind of makes sense now because the leaks are already here so let's wait and watch and see what happens next up we have another update coming from snoopy doc snoopy tech not doc snoopy tech here and basically asus rg ally with the amd z1 not the extreme variant the, the lower tier variant will be coming at 599 basically 600 dollars and also it's gonna be storage uh the storage capacity capacity is kind of lower for some reason it's coming with 256 gigs of nvme m.2 gen 4 ssd here same specs but z1 and well the storage is has been changed very weird i don't know why they're going for the 256 they could have just added 512 gigs come on come on asus you could do better than that right but Z1 Extreme, however, we already know is $699, basically $700, completely competing with the Steam Deck here. But we also have another news, and interestingly enough, there's another competition. Right here, as you can see, AOK Zo, the official Twitter page, basically posted this or tweeted this that they're launching their own AOK Zo A1 Pro, and that's another handheld. And if you look into the specs or the details of the specs here, well, Look, they also have the pricing and also the spec. They're basically using the similar spec as the Asus a ROG Ally. So interesting enough, there's going to be a good competition here. So as you can see, the configuration we have, all of them coming with 7840U. And well, the surprising thing is that look at the RAM size of these uh, consoles here. The maximum one you can get is 64 gigs of 
RAM. That's absurd. And of course, the storage, and that is also absurd, 2 terabytes. And then we have 32 gigs, 2 terabytes, 32 gigs, 1 terabyte, and 32 gigs, 5, 12 gigs. So, and that's very absurd that they're going with such high storage, which is good. Not gonna lie. I mean, more games you can store and more games you can play at the same time, so that's really good. But the pricing, however, goes up at the same time. So if you look into the lower tier model, that's $799, $100 more compared to the Asus ROG Ally here. So yeah, the, the base model is $100 more expensive, basically. And we also have $859 for the 32 gigs, 1 terabyte model. For the 32 gigs, 2 terabyte, we have $9559. And for the top tier, that's the flagship, is $1,159. That's crazy. That's crazy pricing. But not only that, there's a lot, another bad news. If you look into more detailed pricing, this is the pricing only for the campaign. That's the public funded campaign they're going to be running. And that's why you're getting a cut. The price of... And as you can see, the retail price is much higher than this. That's right. $7.99 is the price off. 20% price off. Because the retail price is $9.99. Basically $1,000. That's right. So after the campaign, you're not getting this console for this price. You have to go for the retail price, which is $9.99. And then it goes even higher. Like, absolutely crazy. Even the top tier model goes well beyond $1,200. That literally, you can just literally build a gaming PC with that. So yeah, that is absurd pricing. But you know what? They're giving more to you because 64 gigs of RAM in a handheld doesn't make sense whatsoever. But they're going for it. I don't know why. Literally. Mm -hmm. Alright, that is it for today. What do you think about the AOK Zo and Asus ROG Allied and Steam Deck? Because all three of these are in the same terms of in terms of like handheld competition. Like it's getting spicy, you know. And I know a lot of people are in uh, you know in support with Steam Deck here. But when we looked at, look into the Asus ROG Ally pricing, the, even the Z1 Extreme variant coming at $699, it's not that bad either, right? Because it's performing better, it's, you know, it's, it's quite close in terms of the pricing of the Steam Deck. However, AOK Zo doesn't seem like a good deal in my opinion, because firstly, it's a handheld console, and why would you need 32 gigs of VRAM, or RAM, I should say? It doesn't really make sense, literally. Because it's a handheld anyway. Second thing is that literally you can buy a gaming PC with those kind of pricing that AOK Zo is uh, providing. Which is not that appealing in my opinion. Like not at all. Though they're providing more storage. But then again like if you want to go all in for handheld I guess it's a good option. Because you know if you have the money of course. But I think Asus ROG Ally is in the mid range here in, in, when you compare the pricing of course. Like, it's, it's more of a good deal, in my opinion. But also, Steam Deck is not bad either. So it all comes down to what you choose. But then again, AOK Zo doesn't seem like appealing to me. All right, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoy, like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more information about any kind of technology here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.